Hi heathens! So today's video, as you can see, I think I've decided I'm going to keep my intro. A huge thank you to everyone who gave me feedback. It really means a lot to know that a good majority of y'all, especially people who are returning viewers, enjoy my intro or at the very least aren't bothered enough by it that you think I should change it. So, so that I don't get sappy because I'm very in my emotions today. I want to show y'all some of the makeup that I got for Christmas and play around with it and do a full face. I am going to go ahead and cut my light on because I feel like I'm going to start losing light very quickly because let's go ahead and close this. Ooh, you get to watch this whole process. All right, normal light and down. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> it's about to get, start getting dark because it's like way later in the day than I usually film. So without further ado, let's get on in. So I've got a bag here, which has most of my goodies in it because a good 90% of this came from Brittany. Thank you, Brittany. And so we have this that has, oh God, a lot of goodies in it. And then we have a few more things down here at the bottom of the bag. Ugh. Some of which I want to use in this video. I'm not going to show y'all everything, but I'm going to show y'all a few things that I want to use. So the first thing that I want to use for sure is going to be the Fade Into Hue ColourPop palette. This is like their rainbow palette. Ooh. So pretty. Like, look at all of these shades. I have no idea what colors I want to play with. I'm thinking my shirt's kind of maroon, but I'm thinking the purples or the oranges because my shirt is Nickelodeon. There's only a few like real oranges. I don't know. We'll think about it while ugh, I show you all some of this because then I have to clean in here because I have to find a spot for all this. There's some candy in here too. So <laughs> we're going to be trying the L'Oreal Paris Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. It is the anti-redness one. Let's see if it helps. We have a new highlighter to try. This is the I Heart Revolution Beauty and the Beast highlighter. Very excited about that. We have this brush that we're going to be using for it. Uh, let's see, we are going to be using this Farah lipstick. And what else do I have? That's a lip gloss. Uh, yeah, this is probably going to be everything I try in this video. But, like, I got some Hello Panda some milk with white chocolate. Oh, 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 this I'm very excited about too. If I didn't have the I Heart Revolution, I mean, I'm excited about all of it, but this is the other, not the other, like there's only two, but one of the other Rare Beauty highlighters. So this one is more of like a rose gold champagne, whereas the one I have is gold gold. Gorgeous. Very excited about that. That will be for another video. And okay, without further ado, will this balance up here? Maybe. Okay, <laughs> if that tumbles, we will address it later. But some of the other things I did want to show y'all because they are going to be featured in future videos is the ColourPop Lush Life palette. Very excited about that. And one thing that was not from, whoop, was not from Brittany is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Mini. Um, I bought myself some Christmas with, uh, I'm vanishing for a moment, with some of the money that I got over Christmas and some of the money that I got selling some other products that I no longer use or have never used. And took part in the Jeffree Star 12 days of Christmas sale because he was listing various items on his website for only $12. So I managed to get a full-size palette, 
three, I think three of the extreme frosts and a mirror. Very excited for all of that to arrive, but it hasn't even shipped yet. So that will be for another video and we will see if those highlighters are as nice as they look. So without further ado, I have already misplaced an item. Oh, here it is, okay. I'm gonna go into the Fade Into Hue palette first. It does not have a mirror, so I will be using, speaking of, my Jeffree Star mirror that I typically use. And, <sighs> hmm, let's go into the purples because I feel like it'll pull out the purple in my Nickelodeon shirt. I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's take a brush, make sure it's clean. Okay. And I'm gonna start by tapping into Selfie here, which is a like shimmer. It has bits of shimmer in it but I feel like it will apply similarly to a matte when blended out across the eye. So we're gonna find out. This is kind of a shot in the dark. Yeah, this is fine. Some, let me say, most regular shimmers do not perform well when being used a with a brush but be through the crease but i find that shimmers like this that are like a matte but with shine in them don't have as much issue with that so we just went and saw the new spider-man don't worry i'm not going to give you spoilers but if you are into the spider-man movies or you know that universe definitely worth watching was so good. Uh, let me clean this brush off. I'm going to take a also kind of like fluffy brush. Okay. And we are going to tap into the shade under that, which is Majestic. It is a darker but definitely matte shade. And we are just going to put this all over and take it up into the crease. And I am putting the most emphasis on this outer corner. I'm walking y'all through like it's a tutorial. I don't even know what I'm doing yet. We're just playing around with the palette. Ooh, I picked up way more on my brush on this side. I'll have to even the other side out in a second. I didn't mean to do that. That's part of the issue of uh, doing makeup and the fact that I wear glasses but I don't wear contacts is sometimes stuff like that happens <laughs> where it's like I kind of overshoot how much I pick up because I can clearly see the brush when it's like in front of my face but when I'm like tapping into the palette I don't see how much is coming up out of it or off onto the brush. So once I've like patted it off, I just kind of assume it's the right amount of pigmentation. But you know, that's what I get for assuming. So but that's okay. I also, it's in the living room because I am swapping it out for my purse right now, but I received an awesome Christmas present from my friend Jamie who um, no longer lives here, unfortunately, but obviously I still keep in touch with her. And she got me this amazing little backpack with my channel name on it. So I have a backpack that says Sunny the Bunny. I was so excited about that. Like, so thoughtful and something that I can like wear around and kind of like promote myself. Not that anyone's gonna care or even probably ask, but it makes me feel good. All right, so let's go in with, ooh, there's a lot of kickback from that shade. <laughs> and now it's all gone. Uh, let's do Express. It is the lighter purple shimmer. 
Ooh. I don't know if you can see that. Very pretty. And, oh, oh my, okay. It looks even better on the eye over that other purple. It's a little, little chunky, but it smooths out fine. So you just have to be careful when you're first depositing it. Oh, that is, you know, I didn't expect this to be my favorite shade in the palette, but it might wind up being ugh, my favorite shade in the palette because that is just stunning. And I bet, you know, a little bit more on this side. I bet over other colors, it looks different because it kind of has that quality about it where like you'd still see that it was like a light purple but it would give the other color just something else if you get what i'm saying let's go into face and then i'll decide if i want to do anything under the eyes so for my foundation it's kind of a foundation kind of not i want to use this um, bb cream and it is 820 anti-redness so i don't know how much of the redness on my face you can currently even see but we are going to use this and see if you can see it making a difference my face isn't like the most red right now but it's definitely not clear and i'm going to try this two ways i'm going to try it first with my fingers because that's the way i see most people using it and then i'm going to try it with my brush so we're going to go onto this side let me give you all Let's go close up. I'm going with this side first. I don't know how much I'm supposed to be using, so we're just going to go in with an amount and we're going to see what happens. If it feels like too much, we'll obviously go in with less on the other side and vice versa if it feels like not enough. So I'm going to use my fingers with this side. So I saw a video from Soph Does Life, or I guess now she's just Soph. She used to be Soph Does Nails, and her vlog channel is, I think, Soph Does Life. But she was using this and was explaining that it has, like, these little bubbles in it that kind of pop to make a color that is, like, a peachy nude. That is meant to, yeah, it's a little darker than my skin tone. That is meant to help um, combat redness. I mean, using my fingers with it, though, works perfectly fine. And I feel like probably better because it does help those bubbles or whatever they are pop. Is it my perfect match? Definitely not. But do we feel like it covered the redness? definitely so now on my hand here you should be able to tell like at the base of my fingers where the kind of pigmentation is showing and that it's a little deep for me but i think if i brought it down i could probably make it work kind of looks like i have a tan which is kind of weird to me because I don't think I've ever had a tan in my life. <laughs> like, uh, I am a very fair-skinned redhead. Tan is not something that my body knows how to do. So, you know, that's uh, not something that I can say with confidence that this is necessarily what I'd look like if I tanned because typically if I'm out in the sun that long, What's going to happen is I burn, um, and then I go right back to being this color. There's like no in between. I think this is going to work better with my fingers, but I'm going to try my brush anyway. And we're going to see what happens. So I think I've got a hair. Okay.
Yeah, I feel like that just kind of moves it around a little bit more. Oh yeah. You can see the difference when I use my fingers. Or at least, I don't know if you could. I could. I don't know if on camera it was that obvious, but... Like maybe if I use the brush it wouldn't be as dark. But it also doesn't cover the redness as much. You can definitely see more redness still on this cheek. I don't look quite as dark down in this area. But I also don't look quite as covered with redness. So I'm just going to put a little dot back on my cheek. I feel it moving. It feels very weird. And I'm just going to take my fingers and start rubbing that in. The color kind of feels like I'm playing in someone else's makeup and didn't realize that we weren't quite the same skin tone prior to putting it on and now I'm like, okay, well I've committed now. I feel like what this would be really good for is to be used as like a primer. Like use a little bit of it, get rid of the redness, but then put on a lighter foundation. Not lighter than me, but lighter than this. And I feel like it would really help even everything out. Especially if the foundation was lighter coverage. And like typically the redness was showing through. I don't mind it. I'm excited to play around with it and see how else I can use it. Alright, so then now we... Blah, 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 blah. Now we have... Did I lose my knife again? The I Heart Revolution Beauty and the Beast highlighter. I saw my knife when I sat down. And I literally don't know where. And it doesn't help that I can't see anything. So I'm going to take some tweezers and try to get through this tape. Got it! I can't see anything without my glasses. And um, moments like that, it can be a bit of a hassle. <laughs> because my knife is silver, so it should stand out. But it apparently does not with the amount of stuff that I have currently on my desk. So this is what the packaging looks like. They made them look like little books. So stinking cute. So the name of this shade is A Tale of Enchantment. Oh, this is so pretty. And if you have not tried any of the highlighters from Revolution, you are seriously missing out. They have one of my favorite formulas of all time, these give any high-end formula a run for its money. Like, for sure. Hold on, let me, let me swatch it. And go across the back of my hand. Like, just look at this. How stinking beautiful. All right, now very excited. Okay. We have tapped in. We have tapped off. Get a little bit more. And tapping on. Oh, it's so pretty. I want to build it up. Do I need to? No. Am I going to? Yes. And look at how, if you can tell, how smooth the transition is onto the rest of my face. Like, revolution, you did it again. Just look at that. So stunning. Oh. These highlighters are... And when I say these, I mean Makeup Revolution, not just the Disney ones, because this is the only one I have. But speaking on behalf of their highlighter formula, 
I mean, they knock it out of the park every time. Every formula I've tried from them has been the bomb. Anyway, otherwise I'll sit here and rant about Highlanders all day. Because that's like my favorite thing. I'm going to go in with this matte liquid lipstick from Farah in the shade Coco. Just a nice flat doe foot. Mm. This is very, very creamy. I love that color. Wow, that is really pretty. And that goes on so smoothly. Like. Wow. I hope this really does dry down matte. Because that goes on like a cream lipstick. And is incredibly smooth. Alright. I think that's all I can do in this video. Unless I start piling products onto each other. And that might get disastrous. So, I'm going to scratch my nose. I'm going to take down my hair. And show y'all the finished look. Which of these products would you like to see me play with next? Are there any specific ones? And I will go over the rest of what is in here so that you also have an idea. We've got a moisturizer, which I love. We have, very excited, the Hocus Pocus Hello Boys Liquid Lipstick, which is definitely one that I wanted. Obviously, you can tell why. Very excited about that. Oh, why does my nose itch so much? We have the Barrel uh, Jelly Much Shadow. Very excited. This is like the, I don't want to call it beige because that makes it sound really boring. Um but it has like a beige undertone with like all the different colors inside it. So gorgeous. I'll swatch a little bit on the back of my hand. Like I don't wanna waste any, so I'm trying to get as little as possible while still making it swatchable. Like, the uh, pink one also looks really nice, but this one and lock, like just, um, excuse me, hello. I feel like now I need shock just so I can have the whole collection, but these two are ones that like I will wear, whereas shock, because it's pink, Am I going to reach for it as much unless I'm specifically doing a pink look? Probably not. You know? Ugh. Can't wait. We have a Il Maquillage um, eyeshadow quad. Just some nice nudes. But very pretty. And their single eyeshadows are really nice. So I'm sure that is great. We have, so this was hers, and she never reached for it, and so I got it, and I'm very excited. This is the Fenty Beauty uh, Wannabe Lip Paint in Uncuffed. So excited. And we have another Il Maquillage lipstick, but this one is in the shade uh, Dirty Talk. Sorry, I had to figure out which color it was. And then we have a Lucky Chick Hydrating Lip Gloss in the shade Bubbly. 
We have some more candy. And the LYS Speak Love Glossy Treatment Lip Oil. And then a few things that um, are like duplicates of stuff that I have. Um, like the peppermint chapstick and peppermint chapstick. I love me some peppermint, especially in lip products. I love it. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you'd like me to see. What? What you would like to see me play with next. Let me know if you're looking forward to that Jeffree Star unboxing whenever I get my packages eventually. I placed the order on the 17th and the 18th and today when I'm filming is New Year's Day. So <laughs> we are going on a couple weeks. But anyway, that is all. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to see more, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much.